This is the final part that we're going to do with the uh, high-speed uh, machining. Uh, and this part has um, a couple islands. It's got a through um, circle here, and it's got a just a cut through that's not all the way through, and then it has a pocket here. And it's got some uh, complicated islands that we have to um, mill out. So we're going to do this, and it's also at a couple different levels. This height is the same as this height. This height is lower, and then this height is still lower too. So using our uh, typical thing, we aren't going to machine the bottom, but we'll machine everything else. And since this is less video here, we're going to go through this pretty quick. And what happens with a lot of these is there'll be um, a first rough cut, and then it goes back and does the final um, actual finish cut. And there is the stock that we're starting with in the silhouette, and all of that will get machined out. And here we go. And there's one edge, there's the other edge, there's the contour around the edge. And here it's taking out rough cuts of these circles. And now it's doing a rough cut of this area in here to get the first of the islands. And we can speed this up a little bit. Watch it go through its cutting motions. It just goes round and round until it gets all of that material. And it'll come back and um, finish it off. Because you can see that the finished cut should be right at that line and it still has some left. Now it's getting this island area between these two islands. And again, this will be just a rough cut. There'll be some left over. And now it's doing the pocket. And this is kind of some extraneous stuff because I didn't know what we were doing. But here it's going to go down to the final depth. And you can see it's got all the way down to that line. And it's going to do the same for here. Now because it's a semicircle, it's a more complicated uh, process, or at least the way I have it in here. So we're going to move this up, get it finished, and um, then we can bring it back to this very last part. When it's uh, finishing up with this pocket, it's going to uh, remove this material here, and then at the very last it's going to have to do one, it's going around the edges to get these all trimmed down as tight as possible. And then when it's done doing the corners, it'll have one last pocket in the middle that it has to uh, flatten out with uh, one horizontal cut. And just get it moving along a little bit. Here's the uh, finishing up on the edges. And now the final thing will be just to uh, go around and get this last green area and finish that off. And that's where it's going to do that. And so now when the pieces are finished and all done, what we can do is we can go down to the bottom here, and this tells us that to machine this part, which is somewhat complicated, it's going to take about 20 minutes uh, to do it this way. Now, certainly not optimized, but this has got some... Um, pretty difficult radiuses and islands in here to cut. So uh, it would be interesting to actually put this on a milling machine and see what the part looks like if it's anything close to the drawing. So that's the uh, high-speed milling demonstration.